What do you mean you don't think I'm gonna hang out with you anymore? That's silly, come on. Of course we're gonna see each other every single day. It's gonna be just like it used to be, okay? <sighs> just, just go sit over there in the corner in the dark. I'm just gonna unplug you for a second, okay? <laughs> well... Welcome back to another Reality Check VR video. Right now we're going to install the new Runtime 1.3. Um, so let us do that right away. The first you need to make sure you have all of your previous Oculus runtimes uninstalled. And if you need any help with that, we are going to go over that in another video where we just kind of run over just the different folders and places that the Rift uh, files can hide. So first thing you do here is you can read, Welcome to the Rift. Let's go. Let's get started. And uh, it does have a privacy policy and a terms of service. Uh, like most things, um, people usually just click agree. Um, I do recommend you actually click on those things and check them out. So if you click on privacy policy, um, we'll bring it on over here. Uh, you can just kind of quickly look through it. And of course, most of the things aren't going to pertain to you or even have any effect on you. But uh, some things do. So especially if you're an international user and you're not using this in America, um, some things are going to be a little different to you, and you do have to pertain to American laws and, of course, laws of other countries, even if you're an American citizen. Um, so things like that and uh, just, just other things you might want to read up on since you are going to be using it. Uh, the terms of service also do have some similar things in there that just are interesting indemnification. You know, just things that, you know you need to read up on. So um, go ahead. We're going to agree to that because, you know, we're, we're, we're cool with it. Definitely takes there. Uh, this gives you a nice little 10 second wait to make sure you read the health and safety warning. I'm sure you've read that a thousand times before. They usually blast it in your face. So um, here we go. It's going to take three gigs and it's going to unload to, I think, well, about eight gigs or something. I'm not sure exactly. Um, I shouldn't say. Um, also, if you do need some help, there is a, the support center where you can go and they have all the different types of support that you'll need for any type of questions. Um, I've actually had to use this several times myself. And, and like I said, we will go over that in the uninstallation video um, a little more in detail. So if you have any questions, just make sure to refer to that or send me a message and I'll try to answer you. Um, so we're going to click install and here we go. Off to the races. Um, we're going to speed this up just a bit. Okay, it says this can take about 30 minutes. I think on average this takes me about about eight minutes or less so uh, uh it, it can be a lot faster for you depending on your internet connection or of course uh, maybe even the computer speed but it is uh, normal to take at least at least five minutes or more so uh, expect some time oculus does this this okay and once it installs if there are any problems usually you're going to see an error before it installs so if you see that error before it installs uh, like I said, refer to uh, either Oculus Support Center or my other video. Um, but uh, it should just install like this, and it'll take some time. It'll take, you know, a few minutes to install. And once it does that, it will instantly ask you for um, oh, it's next, of course, update your drivers. Um, this is, of course, to uh, make sure you've got all the most recent drivers that you need for the CV1 to work properly. Um, and if, even if you have a DK2 hooking that up, it'll also ask you to update the drivers for the DK2. So um, the DK2 does work with the newest runtime. It's just one of those things where you have to, uh, you know, if you update to it, some things aren't going to work with it. So um, you, you might want to have a, a way to switch back and forth. Um, here you go. If you do have an Oculus already, you can sign in right there to your account. And uh, if you don't, we're going to check out what it is to sign in with a new one. Um, if you try to add a name in there that's already used, such as Palmer Lucky or something like clever like that, right? It'll tell you, no, you can't use that. They've already used it. But, you know, so we'll, we'll think of something fresh like, you know, Oculus Setup. That's a perfect name. Everybody wants that name. Yes. So fill in your first and last name, your email, re-enter your email, and of course your beloved password. One, two, three, four, five, six works great. Just make sure you send me your username so I know who you are. With each account, you can link your credit card. So of course, all your purchases are held into your library. So it's best to keep one account with kind of all your things in it. That way you don't have to you know, worry about signing in and out of different ones to get them. Um, so once you sign in, you'll have the ability to put your profile picture. And uh, uh, also you do have the ability to do your setup. I, I'm not using the CV1 right now, so I'm not doing the setup, but there is a one-time setup to do your remotes and your joysticks uh, or your controller is just to get everything set up properly. Um, go over all your options, your privacy options. Once you're done with that, you've even got a place where you can accept friend requests from people who have popped in. Hey, we're gonna accept some random friend requests. Woohoo! Got Don on there, Mr. VR Gamer Dude. He's my buddy. Yep, of course. Of course he is. And if you have a Gear VR, you've already got those names. Um, some of the things that are going to be in the marketplace are their concepts. They've got uh, new concepts they'll be pushing. You know, so as opposed to being just plain games, they've got things that are more of 
demos. So I've got early access to things that is going to be an option, which is just great, um, early development access. Um, other things like uh, you know Henry, if you've seen that before, you're going to have the ability to see screenshots of these things before you want to play them, before you want to purchase them, so you can kind of get an idea of what you're going getting yourself into. Um, the nice thing is, not only do you get the screenshots, but you've also got a little bit of information down below. If it's free, you can instantly start downloading it like I did there. Um, of course, we're going to go into Lost over here. We're going to jump in. And, and you can you can actually see there's additional details down here below. So you can see the developers, the release dates. You can see all, all the information about the products. Um, and of course, once again, we've got screenshots. And we can see how cool and epic of the game is and, and, and it'll lure us in. Um, I think this is just a really nice option. They've already made it look really clean and really nice. Um, of course, since I am on a DK2 setup right now, I do not have all the options, nor do I see Oculus Home to the full extent that it is. Um, the nice thing is, if you have uh, CV1, you're going to have all those options, of course, available to you, um, as it should be. So um, I hope this helped you out in any way. If you do have any questions on getting yourself set up, uh, just let me know, and I will be glad to help you out. Until next time.